This short video will show you how to use the Zircon furnace. So we have a Zircon furnace number five. This is number five. And here's another one, number six. They are almost identical. Number six is a little bit newer. So that one can go a little bit higher temperature. And this one we can go 1600 for sure, no problem. Now we just show you how to open that and do the temperature settings. To open that, this the handle. So you lift that. I suggest you use the two hands, but I'm using one hand because I'm holding the camera. So slowly you can see this notch. We will hold on that. And this is the cavities. And you can see this setting the center center plate and two heating element before firing checking the heating element make sure there are no white deposit no abrasive damage and all the sample should be seated in the middle okay and that should be all right and turn on the notch just press that uh, hold the, the door slowly, it's a little bit heavy. Make sure it's aligned, okay? And uh, make it lock. With lock, there, look at the side. It shouldn't have a big gap. If there are a big gap, that means that it's not in the slot, it's not locked, and it will release the heat. Turn on the power. It will start temperature control and turn the heat. We have uh, these two controllers. So one is the program controller, the other one is over temperature controller. Once you start it, uh, or somehow it's a uh, power outage, you can see this one is uh, on. So we need to do the reset. Okay, you can hear the click as the contractor starts. Then you can see the heating is on. So for the car furnace, every time when you start, it automatically start the first program. So I'll show you how to do the setting. So this is the setting part. And never touch the over temperature controller. It should be all set. Okay, we set like the 1610 for this one. So don't change that, don't play with it may easily pass up there are lots of settings inside and this one setting pretty easy we have two pattern P PN1 PN2 two pattern these two pattern can be linked so we can check that so you can see this one level and time you can always look at that okay and if you do the setting you can go there and you can check that one and Two, the so one is level, one, one is time. So you can switch pattern one, pattern two. So pattern one, you can do the setting, check that, and so it always gives the level and time, level and time. Okay. So like this one, we have three segment, means end. You can press end to, to open the the fourth segment. You can see the setting and. Five, six, seven, even to the eight. Remember that if the number eight is not the end, it will go directly to the pattern two. Okay, so this is something you should be very careful. If you don't put the end, it will go to the pattern two. It's linked, so you have to put the end somewhere. Okay, the setting is very easy. So anytime you put in, like this one. We just uh, change the temperature. Okay, so this will be the temperature, and you get time. And same thing for the second. So this type setting is a setting with level and time. So if the level is same as the previous one, then it will be soaking. If different, that will be the ramping. So it's very easy. So when you get set, choose the pattern one or pattern two, and let it run. That's it. Make sure 
uh, the heater is on and the over temperature setting is reset so you can see the heating LED is on if this one is off there are no heating always look at the temperature before you leave make sure the red ramping is there the temperature is this is the present temperature it should show maybe higher than room temperature if it doesn't increase that means something wrong in the low temperature is not very accurate below like the 200 is one accurate over 500 it will be very accurate